I want to thank God for each and every one of us today. I want to give God glory for making it possible for us to be in the land of the living. I want us to give Him praise because He is God. I want us to bless His holy name. The Bible said, Bless the Lord. And bless his holy name. Bless the Lord for all his goodness and mercies towards us. So I want us to just give him praise. Maybe you had your disappointment today, or your appointments. The things that you were able to achieve and the things that you were not able to achieve today. The Bible says in all things we should give God glory. For all things work together for good to them that love God. So I want us to give Him praise. For He has made it possible for us to go out and come in today for he has made it possible for us to go and come in today so i want us to just worship him just worship him just worship the lord worship the lord worship the lord worship the lord Worship the King of Glory. Worship Him. For He is good. You are the Lord. Let your name be glorified. You are the Lord. Let your name be glorified. We give you glory and honor. You are the Lord. Let your name be glorified. We give you glory and honor. You are the Lord, let your name be glorified. We give you glory and honor. You are the Lord, let your name be glorified. We give you glory. And honor, you are the Lord. Let your name be glorified. We give you glory and honor, you are the Lord. Let your name be glorified. We give you glory and honor. You are the Lord. Let your name be glorified. So I want you to glorify the name of Jesus. Just glorify his name, for he has done so wonderfully for us. He has done so good to us. I want us to worship the King of glory. If not that God had been with us, we would have been consumed by the enemy. I want us to give him praise because he has made it possible for us to stand strong in the land of the living. 
Many people are alive today, but they are in the hospital. Most people are alive today, but they are weak. To the point that they can't even talk. They can't even move their hands or their legs. They can't even feed themselves. They can't even eat and enjoy their food because of one problem or the other. Or the fact that God has allowed the food that you ate to digest, to work properly in your body. I want you to give him praise. Yes, just give him praise. Just give him praise. Just give him glory. For he is God. Ha. Who is like unto thee? Oh Lord, who is like unto thee? Oh Lord, among all the gods, who is like thee? Is glorious in holiness. Fearful in praises, doing wonders, hallelujah. Who is like unto thee? Oh, Lord, who is like unto thee? Oh, Lord. Among all the gods, who is like thee? Your glorious in holiness, fearful in praises, doing wonders, hallelujah. O oh Lord, my God, how excellent is your name. In all the earth, how excellent is your name, O oh Lord, my God, how wonderful is your name. In all the earth, how wonderful is your name, O oh Lord, my God. How powerful is your name in all the earth? How wonderful is your name, O oh Lord, my God? How powerful is your name in all the earth? How wonderful is your name, O oh Lord? My God, how powerful is your name in all the earth? How wonderful is your name in all the earth? How powerful is your name in all the earth? <clears throat> how wonderful is your name? The name of the Lord is wonderful. The name of Jesus is a strong tower. The Bible said that the righteous runs into this name and they are saved. Today I want you to know that this name of Jesus is a name that is given unto Man, the only name that has the capacity and the ability to save you from death, from sin, from the world of darkness. He is the light that shineth. The Bible said that this light shineth and darkness comprehends it not. Today, we're going to look at the book of Matthew before we pray. The book of Matthew chapter 14. I'm going to read from 31 to 36. 
I want you to pay attention and to listen carefully on the words that we're going to read today. The Bible said in the book of Matthew chapter 14 from 31 to 36. He said, and immediately Jesus stretched forth his hand and caught him and said unto him, O thou of little faith, wherefore didst thou doubt? And when they were come into the ship, the wind ceased. Then that were in a ship came and worshipped him, saying, Of a truth, thou art the Son of God. And when they were gone over, they came into the land of, Gen of Gennesaret. And when the men of that place had knowledge of him, they sent out into all the country round about and brought unto him all that were diseased and besought him that they might only touch the hem of his garment. And as many as touched were made perfectly whole. Hallelujah. Today, we're going to look at this particular verse with the perspective of Jesus, the healer. I'm going to be praying for all those who has one disease, sickness, or the other. The Bible said that Jesus, when he met Peter in the sea, searching for fish, and Peter saw him coming, and they were frightened, they were afraid. Because they have never seen Jesus walking upon the waters. They believe it was a spirit. But when Jesus saw them, he said, Do not be afraid, for it is I, it is me, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And Peter said, If it is you, beg me to come. He said, Come. And Peter began to walk on the water because he had faith. He began to do the impossible because he had faith. Because there was no fear. But when fear entered the heart of Peter, he began to sink. He began to sink. He began to go down. So it means that fear brings people down. Fear is the enemy of faith. Fear has the ability of destroying your courage. Fear can stop you from reaching the goal that Jesus Christ has set up for you. Fear. Peter was afraid to the point that he began to sink in the waters. Look at a man walking on the waters about a few minutes ago. Now he is sinking because of circumstances. Because he saw the vast range of the sea. He saw the wind. He saw the wind. You know, fear can make you to see what is not existing. What is not in existence. What cannot be touched. What is not real. Fear can allow you to see what is not in existence. Now, Peter saw the wind. It is not very possible that man can see the wind. 
But immediately Peter saw the wind, he began to sink. He removed his eye from Jesus. He removed his eye from the Savior. He removed the eye, his eye from the man who called him. He removed his eye from the man who asked him to come. He began to sink. He began to go down. And that is what circumstances does to human soul. He brings you down. He removes your attention. He removes your courage. He removes your eye from looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. He removes his eye and began to sink. Praise the Lord. So what am I trying to say? That Jesus Christ is out this evening to reach to you. To touch you. Whatever the problem is. He has stretched forth his hand this evening. He said to me, pray for those who are sick. So we're going to be praying today. Those whose problem looks impossible to solve. Those whose sickness has been written up. Whose life is waiting to die. I mean your life is on the road of going to an end point of your life. But today Jesus Christ is reaching forth to touch you. The Bible said, when this man saw Jesus, they brought to him all that were diseased, all that were sick. He said, as many that touched the hem of his garment were perfectly made whole. So this is what is going to happen tonight. But Jesus Christ is here today speaking to you, touching that area of sickness, touching that area of disease, those who have leukemia, those who have blood cut, those who have all manner of diseases, name it, those who have cancer, you know cancer is very rampant in this part of the world. You have cancer, you have ulcer, you have all his cells. But Jesus Christ is the answer to the cancer, is the answer to the ulcer, is the answer to the kidney problem, to whatever disease that is in your body. Because he is the answer. The Bible said they brought to him many that were diseased. Maybe you have blood disease. Maybe you have kidney disease. Maybe you have liver disease. Whatever the name of that disease is, is subject to healing. Because Jesus Christ, the healer, is here today. He's stretching forth his hand to heal you from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. But you need to remove fear from your heart and look unto him. The best way to see Jesus is to remove your eyes from your problem. And look at what Jesus can do. Don't look at what the problem has done to you. Maybe the problem has battered your confidence, destroyed your faith, destroyed all you have, destroyed many things. You might, you might, have, been, you might have destroyed your financial capacity. He has taken all that you had. No money. No health. No food. Nothing. No friend. Everything has gone because of this sickness. Today, God is stretching for his hand to heal you. God is healing you right now. As you are hearing the sound of of my voice. God is healing you. You know, we are in a place where pain is inevitable. 
You are walking on the road, suddenly you start feeling pain all over your body, your head, your hands, your feet, your knee, osteoporosis, the disease of the bone, disease of the liver, disease of intestine, disease, many disease, many disease, even the ones that we don't know the name yet, is in the body of people right now. But Jesus Christ, only if you will believe in him, right now as we pray, that disease will be gone. Yes, I'm not telling you what I've not seen. I've seen HIV patients healed. I've seen cancer healed. I've seen liver problem healed. I've seen even the dead raised from the death. God has done it through the ministry through this ministry god reach out to people who are sick who are diseased god heal them god heal them god heal them and i want you to know that there is nothing impossible with god there is nothing impossible with god there is no disease that can stand the presence of god there is no cancer that can stand the presence of god Maybe you have been written off, but God has not written you off. I want you to know that Jesus Christ of Nazareth is in the business of healing men and women today. Lambre Enko Zana Toprai Gasila Rashende Makuba Kasanto Balea Rible Votombe Kunin Suprai Asanko Benuyi. The Bible said, in the same book of Matthew chapter 14, it said in verse 31 and 32, And immediately Jesus stretched for his son, and caught him and said unto him, O thou of little faith, wherefore didst thou doubt? O thou of little faith. Why did you doubt? Why did you allow doubt to creep in? Because what the devil is doing and what the circumstances is doing around you is to cripple your faith, is to remove your faith, is to silence your voice of faith. Oh, Yekob Salaba. And Jesus is asking one question this evening. Why did you doubt? Why are you doubting? Why do you think you cannot be made well again? You know, Paul asked a question one day to King Agrippa. When Paul was talking to Agrippa, he said to him, Why did you think? That it is incredible. It is too big for God to raise the dead. Why do you think it is impossible? It is something of no reach that Jesus can heal you today. Why do you think it is impossible for God to heal you? Why do you think it is impossible for God to silence the voice of sickness? You have been in drug. You have been conditioned. Oh, I cancel every condition that have conditioned you today to be on drugs. Man is not meant to be on drugs. And that is why, after many years, after many months, there will be an adverse effect. It will begin to react in another way. Because you are not meant to be on drugs for so long. But this condition has kept you in a permanent condition. It has kept you in a constant taking of drugs in a particular minute particular hour, particular days, oh, God is out 
to heal you today only if you will believe and remove every doubt only if you will remove doubt because God is a healer oh yes God is a healer he is he can heal any type of disease he can heal you and set you free he said whomever the son of man has set free is free indeed imagine you are a believer you are you are born again you 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 believe in christ but the devil is tormenting you with sickness today is the end of that torment you know jesus one time saw this woman oh who has suffered for 18 years the bible said that the devil burned her for 18 years he was she was burned because of a condition the devil bent her and when jesus looked at her he said is this not the daughter of abraham whom the devil has bent for 18 years i don't know how many years that sickness has been in your body i don't know how many years that disease has crippled you but today is the day of redemption today is the day of healing and setting you free in the book of the same look sorry of the same matthew chapter 14 verse 32 the bible said and when they were come into the ship the wind ceased verse 33 then they were in the ship came and worshiped him saying of a truth that i was the son of god verse 34 and um, when they were gone over they came into the land of gennesaret and when the men of that place had knowledge of him, they sent out into all the country, round about, and brought unto him all that were diseased. My fellow brought to back. Verse 36. And besought him that they might only touch the hem of the garment, only touch. And as many as touched were made perfectly whole. They were not just healed they were made whole they were made whole because if you are healed of a disease the tendency of you having another disease is there the bible said they were perfectly whole you know in this community in the countries today it is very rare for you to see people that are perfectly whole that not even headache is troubling them not even stomach is troubling them there's no ache there's no pain there's not they were perfectly whole perfectly made whole but today jesus is in the business he's the man that when he heals you there will be no adverse effect there will be no returning of sickness there will be no returning of disease he will heal you perfectly and that is the man i'm introducing to you today a man when he heals you you are healed a man when he sets you free you will be indeed free you will enjoy freedom indeed and that is the man i'm introducing you to today in the name of jesus christ i want us to read the book of luke the book of luke chapter 17. the book of luke chapter 17. and i'm gonna read verse 5 and 6. verse 5 and 6 luke 17 verse 5 and 6 the bible said and the apostles said unto the lord increase our faith and the lord said 
if you had faith as a grain of mustard seed, you might say unto the sycaman tree, Be thou plucked up by the roots, and be thou planted in the sea, and it should obey you. If you have faith like a mustard seed, if you have faith, if you have faith, the first prayer we're going to pray today is increase our faith. I want you to begin to pray. I want you to open your mouth and begin to pray and ask God for an increase of faith. Lord, increase my faith. Increase my faith. Increase my faith. Every doubt that have been created by circumstances, that have been created by events, that have been created by, by, by people around me, that have been created by the voice I hear. Today, I silence you doubt. Let faith increase. Let faith increase. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Lord, increase my faith, increase my faith, oh God, increase my faith, let my faith increase. Increase our faith, O oh God, that every doubt will be silenced, that every doubt will be gone, that every doubt will be destroyed out of my soul, out of my spirit, out of my seat, my country, Igli Fanumbrano. I command you out every doubt, be silenced. I silence you every voice of doubt. I silence you this evening. I command you to be silenced. I command you to be silenced. You can no longer have dominion over my soul. All your doubt, every doubt in spirit, abandoned to by Conte Ekana Sopra Lake Bagada. Let my faith increase. Increase our faith, oh God. Let there be an increase of faith. 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 Let there be an increase of faith in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I release an increase of faith into my soul. Release an increase of faith into my spirit, O oh God, that I will destroy every doubt, that I will destroy every doubt, that I will destroy every doubt, in the name of Jesus Christ. Now I want you to pray. You're going to pray. Just place your hand. Place your hand. Place your hand wherever that sickness is troubling you. Place your hands wherever that disease is troubling you. And as we pray, just lift your right, right hand. Lift up your right hand and touch it wherever. Which part that disease, that sickness, that pain is troubling you. Whether in your belly, in your head, on your head, wherever, any part of your body that this disease has been troubling you. Just lay your right hand upon there as we pray together. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we release the spirit. We release the healing power of God from this place. We release the anointing of God to the hearers, to all those that are listening, to all those that are under the sound of my voice this evening, I command healing. The same healing that you performed, even in the book of Matthew chapter 14, I release them right now. I release them right now. I release them right now. That power of healing, I release them right now. That every disease and sicknesses 
will obey the voice of God, will be healed. He said, those that touch you were perfectly made whole. Therefore, heal your people and make them whole. From the crown of their head to the sole of their feet, I command healing. 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 In the name of Jesus. That healing is flowing right now. <laughs> From the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. Oh, I want you to know that Jesus Christ is the healer. The person you are listening to me right now, and you have a pain under your ribs. There is a pain that is under your ribs, and that pain has been there for weeks. The Lord is healing you right now. There is healing power that is moving from this particular place right now to reach you wherever you are. <laughs> oh, in the spiritual realm, there is no barrier. There is no distance. Therefore, I'm commanding that wherever you are right now, that you will be touched. You will be healed. I command the healing. I command the healing. I command the healing. I command the healing. I command the healing power. Mapo libre liken bakato sebre liken bakata. Rima bonto lo breke te de le breke to lo bako se le baga. Riba konto lo breke de ni bons konto lo bogo se le baga de niya. Riba gando lo breke te le baga se lo breke de le baga de le baga da. Riba gando lo breke de le baga de le baga se lo breke de le baga da. Riba gando lo breke de lo breke de le baga de lo breke de le baga da. That healing power of God, I command, move and touch as many that are listening under the sound of my voice right now. Heal them. Heal their family. Yes, there's somebody here. Your family, somebody is in the hospital. In your family, there is a man, a young man that is in the hospital that has been diagnosed with kidney problem. And the Lord said, I'm healing him right now. There's a healing power that is flowing right now to touch him. Hey, just raise your right hand and touch it on your right hand side of your rib just touch it there because it will be a symbol it will be a sign unto him right now the lord will touch him wherever he is my de de comba dike romo se e katonaba long troba in pralokiba zimpe tonaba oh give it to branca soniba rich ten baloba contevi no mosai raba kanti brali comba salaba in the name of jesus i release the power of healing unto you i command healing 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 in Jesus' name. We pray. I want you to know that God is a healer. There is somebody who is having a knee problem. This thing has lasted for three months. It has been constantly paining. Oh, the Lord said He's healing you right now. I want you to know that God is healing you. I want you to know that there is a healing power that is flowing from here right now. That knee is being healed. My vetolobraka toske seneba kofeneba. Reba zantolobro do vikimba kaseleba kasi. Impono sampari maseba. Oh yes, the Lord is healing you. I heard Sylvester. Sylvester, your name is Sylvester. God is healing you right now. God is touching that knee. God is removing the pain. Yes, and you shall see it no more. He said he perfectly made them whole. He perfectly made them whole. Every pain that is in other parts of, of your body is being healed right now. I command the power of God, the healing 
to move and touch you and make you whole from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. Yekaba some prelekebaka. Riba to lobo kotolo bakose. Riba to lobo konte bakase. I caught the hands of the wicked. I caught them right now. I command that their hands be withered. Every hand that is tearing up this particular event to happen in your life, I cut it off. 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 In the name of Jesus. God is sealing you right now. That headache is gone. That belly trouble is gone. Hey, God is healing you right now. There's somebody you are listening to me. You always have belly problem every morning. Ah, as you wake up, he wakes you up. But today is the end. The Lord is healing you. The Lord is removing that pain. Is healing, is making you perfectly whole. <laughs> oh. All power, all power belongs to him. 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 All power, all power belongs to Jesus. All power, all power belongs to him. All power belongs to Jesus. So he's moving right now. He's touching you right now. He's healing you from all manner of disease. He's healing you. He's healing you. He's healing you. He's healing you. Yes, that healing power is flowing. Oh, there is this particular person. You have been having a nauseating headache. When it comes, you feel so tired. You feel so worn out. You feel so confused. God is healing you right now. Just touch your right hand upon your head and begin to shout the name of Jesus. Begin to shout Jesus. 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 Shout it three times. Jesus. 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 That healing has taken place. Oh, you will never see that headache, that nauseating headache anymore. God is making you whole. Ma page fianso. Ripa tolo brekimba. Rima solo brekidiba. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We give you glory, mighty God. We give you praise because you are God. And there is nothing impossible with you. He said, when we have faith, mm, we pray for the increase of faith. Now we're going to pray for increase of favor. Favor. Increase of favor. The Bible said that the favor of God is more than silver and gold. Favor of God. Favor of God is more than money. Favor of God is more than all the money put together. However, we can only pray to attract this favor of God. So I want us to demand from God his favor upon our life. Let your favor be evidence upon my life, upon my family. Your favor, oh God. Your favor, mighty God. Banca labrato reco se bracatelema. Gimba la crendo bacasele bracatelema. Your favor. You are the Lord. That is your name. You are the Lord. That is your name. You are the Lord. That is your name. You will never share your glory with any man. 
time. You will never share glory with anybody. Almighty God, that is your name. I want you to pray for the favor of God. The favor of God. The favor of God. The favor of God. Protect you from the evil of the enemy. From the evil forces of the wicked world. He protects you. He protects you. The favor of God guides you. The favor of God moves you into a grace that you wouldn't have been enjoying. The favor of God can give you what money cannot give you. So today, we're going to demand for this favor. The favor of God. The favor of God. Pray for this favor. In the mighty name of Jesus. Mighty God. We ask for this favor. We ask for this favor. We ask for this favor. Your favor, oh God. Your favor, oh God. Your favor.